I want to pray for you from the depth of my heart. I'm not wasting your time. Your life will change remarkably, believe me. Remarkably. Can I tell you? The gift of sight will also let you see where the problem is. It can show you where the problem is. This backwardness in this family, where is it? What is the root of this tragedy that has tied down men, tied down women, tied down great people? It is not only to see the future, you can see the origin of tragedies and to correct them. Who seen that this man was born blind? Himself or his father? And Jesus said, neither. and those who are following online you are about to receive something miraculous and marvelous miraculous and marvelous the gift of sight the seeing eyes he said blessed are your eyes for the see and your ears for the hear for you your imagination your creativity after the order of Bezalel after the order of Uzziah in the name of Jesus extraordinary ideas extraordinary concepts begin to see them now begin to see them now the ideas connected to your wealth begin to see them now 
What's that song? Another measure. Sing it for me. Shalega para da da da. Another measure. Another measure. Upon your life, upon your ministry. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I impart that grace upon you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, what you have never seen in scripture, I open your eyes to begin to see it. I open the eyes of your understanding, unusual insights into scripture. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now hear me. There are many of you at this point in your Christian experience. You are in desperate need of the revelatory gifts of the spirit to be activated the word of knowledge the word of wisdom the gift of prophecy i decree and declare anyone here who is desperate for these gifts of the spirit and it has not rested upon you or it has rested upon you at a level that can no longer host the burden and the responsibilities upon you i stretch my hands receive a fresh impartation now a fresh impartation now a fresh impartation now Adonai you have entered because of spiritual blindness every mistake you have made some of you are in financial troubles now because of the bankruptcy of sight some of you may be in marital crisis right now some of you may be in ministerial troubles right now in the name of Jesus I invoke the mercy of God come out of that situation now Come out of that situation now. A miracle service is next week. But please allow me to speak over your finances. There is something your eyes need to see. I want to pray for you. Can I tell you this? Listen. Your wealth is not everywhere. Don't make a mistake of just copying and joining the bandwagon. You will get into trouble until you deplete yourself. Just because it's working for others does not mean it will work for you. You have to see what the Lord is saying concerning you. I'm about to pray for you. Some of you will see it in dreams. 
Some of you will see it in visions. Some of you will have prophetic confirmations. But I stand by prophecy. Wherever your financial resources will come from, I gravitate you towards that area. I gravitate you towards that area. I gravitate you towards that area. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everybody here who is a leader or you are in ministry in the name of Jesus I'm praying for you the eyes to see beyond just a 2020 vision let it be imparted upon you I'm praying for you from the depth of my heart may nothing take you unawares again I say it again, may nothing take you unawares. That before it happens, by the power of sight, may you see it. So that if you have to stop it, you stop it from happening. And if you have to allow it, then you allow it happen. Hear me? By the gift of sight, you will never enter any vehicle that will kill you. Let me repeat it again. You will never enter any vehicle that will kill you. Let me give you a disclaimer. Many of you will go to sleep and you will wake up from this encounter with many visions. Listen, never execute anything you see until you verify it with the word. I need to give you this disclaimer. No matter how accurate what you have seen is, when you get up, do not execute until you can support that vision with scripture and where possible, seek godly counsel. I'm saying this to you because there are many people an impartation like this is very risky. Because when your eyes are open, you will see all kinds of things. And Satan can appear as an angel of light. Are we together? Yeah. The devil can appear as an angel of light and want to manipulate the sincerity of your passion to see. And you may see things or God can give you correct visions. And here comes Satan with wrong interpretations of it. And you will carry a wrong interpretation and connect it to a correct vision. And it will end up misleading you and misleading others. No matter what I see, I have to confirm it with scripture. And where it is beyond my spiritual level to interpret, I will consult with those who have gone ahead of me. And open up my heart and say, I've seen something like this. Sir, what do you see? What can you say about it? And sometimes they will say, don't worry. Give me a few days. Let me pray about it. Ah, this is what you saw. This is what you saw. Never be too big to be guided. No matter how accurate you are, we see in part, I forgot to tell you that, that even after you have received the grace to see, you will see in part. That means the word of God that is wholesome, and complete and entire must vet your visions must vet your dreams must vet your creativity must vet your prophetic experiences that way go and listen to my message the value of encounters there is the prophetic dimension of the word that immunes you and stops you from getting into error many people prayed their way to visions but because they did not honor scripture they started seeing things that misled them some of you have seen people like that they start acting as if they are having a mental condition it was prayer that took them there and they did not have respect for scripture they now that you see them misbehaving they start talking to themselves they will not take their bath for days they will start looking as if they are mad people eventually they will get them on admission in the hospital I have to tell you as a responsible man of God that when you are open to the vistas of the spirit it is a very vast realm what gives you stability is your respect for scripture 
otherwise your eyes will see a lot of things the devil will manipulate you to sleep and see someone carrying the form of your mother lifting a knife and you will get up and say ah so my mother is the person behind this and satan has succeeded in cheating you he took advantage of the opening of your eyes as an, an, an innocent woman who loved you and nurtured you. You will begin to hate her. This is the number one problem with the prophetic ministry. Their inability to sieve their experiences and vet it from the lens of scripture. There are many people today who are called witches and wizards. There are many sincere family members that have come at loggerheads because some apostle or some prophet said, this one is this. I believe that there is witchcraft. But there are many people, an innocent husband and a wife, and suddenly they make the wife hate her husband. I see that this guy wants to destroy you. Interpreting visions has a protocol. There's no time for that now. But you need to learn to see your visions. There are many things you will see that are not necessary. You dump them and focus on that which is consistent. Everything you see does not have to be interpreted. When you are mining gold, you will fetch sand. A lot of other things will come. Push them away. You are looking for gold. Hallelujah. I'm saying this so that you don't create another kind of error. And for someone who is watching, I have to bring this balance as we wrap up. Everything you see, no matter how sure you think you see or saw, make sure that you open up in scripture. And if it is a revelation that would demand you taking destiny steps, seek godly counsel. By the privilege of God's grace, we are here to help. Don't stand up and suddenly say, you know what? I had a vision. And in that vision, the Lord said, I should leave my job as a breadwinner of 10, the one who takes care of 10 people, before you take that step, seek godly counsel. There are people that God has washed their eyes with eyes salve. They can see and say, this is not what it means. Be careful. Do not take a wrong step and destroy your spouse and destroy your husband and destroy your children and destroy your parents. I'm saying this as we close. Because there have been people, I can tell you through the years, I've been involved with people who because of the, the depth of their prayer life, meditation, word study, their eyes became open. Some of those people will get up in the night and start trekking no shoes to the river and tell them a spirit, someone appeared. I know one gentleman, he's now late, long dead. The guy used to go through story by 4, 8, 4 p.m. He would enter one building they used to use as an auditorium. He would sit down there because he said there was an angel, some feminine angel that used to come to him, that they would sing together. She takes him out in the spirit and takes him to various places around Nigeria. This guy started isolating himself from people. He started behaving like somebody who was having a medical condition. I mean what I'm saying. He got into depression because he was like nobody else was his friend. He claimed they used to sing together with that bean. I remember interviewing the guy and I said, describe for me the bean. Once he started doing that, I said, you are, you are meeting with a familiar spirit. Oh, but she tells me good things. Behave yourself, respect parents. I said, you don't know Satan. That gentleman today has passed on to glory. Years ago, it is true. So I'm saying this so that believers don't blindly go and start writing everything and executing them verbatim. What was written was written so that it will not be changed. Your visions can be altered. I taught you here that it is written is greater than I saw. It is written is greater than I heard. If you can respect the word of God, then your seeing becomes profitable. It is not everything I've seen that is from God. It is not everything I've seen as a man of God that is worth executing. When I pass them through the lens of God's word, I find some of them wanting and I just hang them there until I grow higher to vet them again or until I dump them because I do not believe in them. You must have the maturity to respect the word of God and no matter how accurate your insights are, let them pass through the sieve of the word and then you have created a safety net for your excelling.